Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a video on the TP-Link range extender, the AC750, setup and review. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. A quick look at the box itself on the front and on the left-hand side, it shows a picture of the range extender, AC750, and says dual band Wi-Fi. Um, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. On the left hand side it also shows that it is a wall mounted design and then on the back it shows the typical layout that you might want to place the extender within the building or your house and then on the right hand side it shows the packet contents as well as the extenders features and then if we come back to the front and flip it over we see the model number serial number and part number and on top a two-year warranty sticker okay let's go ahead and unbox this by me grabbing my favorite pocket knife here and let's go ahead and very quickly remove the plastic wrap off the box and slide the box open here and the range extender is really hand size here and let me just put that to the left side here and see what else is in the box and I'm impressed by the packaging here it's simple but not not overly done all right we have some paperwork here the TP-Link quick installation guide license agreement and we'll take a quick look at the guide here and once we're done with that we'll put it to the side and we'll certainly look at that a little bit later all right the range extender uh, let me move that out of the way um, it says TP-Link on front and we also have a clear film um, on the front that needs to be peeled off, or I guess you could leave it on to protect it from scratches. And then we have an antenna on the left and right that move in the up and down position. And that'll give you a better signal, hopefully. And uh, let's move the box out of the way here and we'll take a closer look at the bottom here we have an ethernet port on the left hand side that you can connect a uh, any wi-fi device up to it directly with um, you know an ethernet cable and we have a reset button right here all right we have air vents all around and then we also on the top here we have some led lights and a wps button let's turn this around and move it up close here um again the um led lights we have a power light we have a signal light and we have a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz led light and again wps on the top uh, button Okay, um, on the back side here we have the plug and we have some model numbers, serial numbers and so forth. And that's about it. And one last thing is that um, we, if we measure this, um, it is only a, a little bit longer or taller than my pocket knife and my pocket knife is only a couple of inches, um, I would say three and a half inches in length. Okay, um, one more thing is that it's nice palm size and it is very lightweight. Okay, moving on, I went ahead and plugged it into the wall here. And when you do, um, initially there are no um, LED lights lit. And after about 30 seconds, you'll see the power light and the signal light um, light up and they'll both be the color of blue. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the computer here where we're going to go into the configuration and configure the range extender. By first locating the SSID, it should be broadcasting since we plugged it in and it has power. So we'll click on the Wi-Fi icon up here and see if we can locate it. By the way, I'm presently connected to Skybird 5 and if we look here we go tp link extender 5 gigahertz and uh, there should be yep there's a 2.4 gigahertz as well so it's definitely broadcasting both ssids for both bands and let's go ahead and click on the 5 gigahertz here and do a connect and in my windows 10 it'll automatically open up Microsoft Edge for me and take me to the TP-Link 
um, GUI interface. Um, if yours doesn't, here's the link, and I'll also put this in the video description area as well. Now, once this is open and you have it um, being displayed on your Windows um, internet browser of your choosing, go ahead and type in a password here. Now keep in mind that this is a password that you're creating right in this moment. You're making it up. It needs to be um, eight characters, letters and numbers. And confirm that both of these are the same once you've typed it in twice. And before we click on start, I want to just point out that there's an app in the App Store and Google Play so that you could utilize those if you wanted to to help you manage this extender. All right, let's click on start and once you do it starts scanning all the available networks that it can find within your neighborhood and in this case it found quite a number um, specifically it's looking for the network that I'm presently connected to and that happens to be Skybird 5 and this is the 2.4 gigahertz it's asking me to type in a password so I'm doing that and I'm gonna click on next and now it's looking for the 5 gigahertz network that I'm connected to and I'm gonna click on Skybird 5 and that is the 5 gigahertz network and type in the password and um, also keep in mind that if you can't see this password and then just go ahead and close that out because sometimes depending on the size of your display it can get in the way all right and click on next once you're finished and it comes back and it confirms wants you to confirm rather that the two passwords are correct and they were so I clicked on confirm and then I get this next screen that allows me to change my SSID for the extender so for the 2.4 gigahertz network and the 5 gigahertz network I can either leave them the same as my router um, SSIDs are or I can make them distinctly different and in my case I'm gonna make them different so I know which is which and uh, I did a EX2 and a X5 here and that way I know which one's which and I can uh, separate them from my SSID or my router. But you can leave them the same, it's up to you, or you know, change them to whatever you like. Once you've decided and you're finished, go ahead and click on Save. And it'll go ahead and apply all the settings that you just um, did. And once that's completed, it will take a few seconds, I don't know, up to about 30 seconds to a minute and I just want to point out that we are going through the quick setup um, process here not the um, advanced setup the advanced setup is very similar um, it's the same number of options maybe a few different ones um, however if you just want to set up your extender very quickly this is the best route going through the quick setup and going through the process that I showed you here. Now once it's finished saving all the settings to the extender you get congratulations and we can go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi icon um, in the taskbar and then find our SSID for the Skybird EX5 which is the 5 gigahertz or if you wanted to you could connect to the Skybird EX2 which is the 2.4 gigahertz network and uh, once you do go ahead and click on connect and then you are prompted for a Wi-Fi password and this is your existing Wi-Fi password that you use on your network it hasn't changed and once you click on next it will make a connection and then it shows here that um, I'm connected and secured on the Skybird 5 EX5 which is the 5 gigahertz um, bandwidth on the extender. One last thing it does say congratulations on the screen there and if you click on finish that will close out the TP settings window. At this point you can open up an internet browser and go to the internet or 
utilize um, anything you like to access the internet and uh, you're good to go. But before I end this video, here's a final image of the Wi-Fi extender and being utilized. As you can see, the power light, the signal light, the 2.4 gigahertz light, and the 5 gigahertz light are all lit and they're solid. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please click subscribe and leave a like if you like.